Hi, everybody. Welcome. My name is Kate Moon, and today we're going to be working up to a peak pose, Bird of Paradise. And the way we'll work our way there is through different variations of the pose, and it'll be like climbing a ladder. So if for some reason your shoulders or your chest um, are not quite ready to find that full bind behind your back, we'll take variations of the pose beforehand where you can find yourself repeating that to gain the strength or the opening or the foundation. And you can always come back to this flow later. If you'd like to be working with a strap today, a strap will help bind the arms behind your back should you not be able to quite find the fingertips, which to be honest, I have a rough time on one side. So we'll see how my body feels today as well. So know that I'm right here with you, learning with you, growing with you. And today we're gonna get started on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana. Find yourself on your back in Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together with the knees open nice and wide. Close your eyes down and allow yourself a little bit of space to arrive on your mat. And take notice how your body feels just for today. In these practices where I find myself trying in intermediate advanced postures, I always have to kind of give myself a pep talk around the idea of trying to be perfect or look perfect. And come to understand once again that perfect is just an idea I have in my head. And perfect, in fact, doesn't even truly exist. It's a thought that we each as individuals have a different idea of what it looks like or feels like or sounds like. And so it's a fantasy. And so perfect will never be achieved. And when I remind myself of that, it almost gives me this relief on my mat of, okay, Perfect doesn't exist. So let me just strive for good. Let me strive for showing up with effort and with ease. Allow gravity to take a hold of your knees, just pulling them nice and open. I know we work in the hips a lot. Take a big breath in through the nose and a big exhale through the mouth. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. Very gently bringing your knees together to close. You can use your hands for assistance and just windshield wipering side to side. I read somewhere the other day that perfect is the armor that we put on preventing ourselves from being seen. So it's really just a way to block our humanness. <laughs> Come through center and extend your right leg straight up to the ceiling or the sky, wherever you are, roll out your ankle. And interlace your hands behind your right thigh. And just gently beginning to pull the thigh towards the ribs with every exhale, creating some space in the back of the leg. Yoga is the practice of disarmoring ourselves, allowing ourselves to see ourselves fully and clearly and unapologetically, and perhaps even allowing others to see us too. So if perfect is armor, yoga is disarmor. Gently release the right leg, and cross right ankle over left thigh for reclined pigeon. Flex your right toes and press the right knee away from you. And then interlace your hands behind your left thigh this time, keeping the toes nice and active. And 
pulling the left thigh towards you as you actively work to press the right knee away from you. Keep your tailbone pressing towards the floor so the back and the spine remain nice and flat. Oh, deep breath. Releasing the left foot to the ground. Half happy baby, grab the outer edge of your right foot. You can kind of stamp that right foot up to the ceiling and pull your right knee towards your right armpit. Again, working through the hips really, really early in the practice, just getting some nice deep stretch before we find some movement here. Gently release the right foot and bring it back down to the ground. Extending the left leg straight up to the ceiling, roll out the ankle, right? Bird Paradise is a single leg balancing posture. So we want to make sure we're waking up the ankles to work for us. Interlace the hands behind the left thigh, press energy up through the left heel and flex the left toes. Take a few breaths here, right? Creating space on the inhale and taking up that space by giving the leg a gentle pull towards the ribs on the exhales. Releasing the left leg, left ankle crosses over right thigh, flex the toes, drive the left knee away from you, and then interlace behind the right thigh. It's a push and pull motion. So push the left knee away from you, pull the right thigh towards you. Maybe a little gentle rock side to side, massage the low back. And then right foot comes back down to the floor. Half happy baby, grab the outer edge of the left foot and deep bend in the left knee as you pull the left knee towards the left armpit. Spine is flattening on the ground. One more big breath. Releasing the left foot back down to the ground, maybe open and close the knees, just kind of butterfly them out. Let's find some movement. Hug the knees into the chest, grab the shins, start to rock and roll up and down the length of your spine. We'll meet in a tabletop position, so cross the ankles and make your way onto all fours, centering yourself on the mat. Spread your fingertips nice and wide, knees under the hip. On the inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, cow pose. And exhale, chin to chest for cat pose around the spine. Inhale, drop belly, lift face, pull back through the heels of the hands. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. A couple more rounds of breath here, finding any intuitive movement you might need. neutralizing. Go ahead and make our way back to downward facing dog. So tuck the toes, lift the hips up, and find a gentle pedaling through the legs. Spread the fingertips wide, nice even pressure through the palms. And then begin to work your way towards stillness here. Lift high up onto your toes, drop both heels over the right back corner of the mat, press your chest back to the thighs, getting a nice stretch through the legs. And then inhale the toes through center, drop the heels to the left, same thing. Press your chest back to your thighs, really ground the heels down. Inhaling back through center, full body breath in. Exhale, melt the heels down on the breath out. And we'll tippy toe all the way up to the top of the mat. Take as many little steps as you need, making your way into a forward fold ragdoll position. So feet underneath the hips, 
hip with distance, opposite hand, opposite elbow. <sighs> Crown of the head hangs heavy. This can be active, it could be really passive and still. Whatever feels really nourishing for your body. Taking notice if you feel like you woke up today and put on that suit of armor. Can you invite yourself to disarm, disarmor? For the next little bit of time, we'll spend on the mat together, allowing yourself to be seen, be felt, make mistakes, get messy. Full body breath in. Release your hands to the floor on the breath out. Plant your left hand nice and flat in between your feet. Twist the right arm up. The right leg will stay straight. The left knee takes a deep, deep bend. Uh, breathe in. And then find a half bind behind your back. The back of the right palm reaches for the left hip crease. Peel that right shoulder back and open, really, really making sure the right leg stays as straight as possible. Maybe a block under the hand would be very helpful. One more breath. Right arm comes up, exhale, switch sides. Right hand comes down, left arm twists up. So now the right knee is bent, the left leg is nice and straight. Find that half bind behind your back, left hand reaching for the right hip crease. Good, press through that left heel, one more big breath. Left arm comes up on the inhale. Forward fold, Uttanasana, exhale. Bend your knees and we'll slowly roll all the way up to stand, vertebrae by vertebrae. Arms will come up, knees will lift up on the inhale. Forward fold, hinging at the waist, exhale breath. Inhale, halfway to lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, stand up tall. Grab the left wrist with your right hand. Reach up and away from the body. Hinge over to the right, hips go to the left. Inhale, back through center. Interlace the hands behind the back. Squeeze the shoulders together. Lift the chest and the chin, big breath in. Keep that bind forward, fold, hinge at the waist, breath out. Hands to shins as your halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Extended mountain pose, rise up to stand. Grab the right wrist, lift up through the body. Hinge to the left, hips to the right. I call this Shakti arms. And we'll see this later in the practice. Inhaling back through center. Interlace the hands behind the back once more. Think opposite pinky on top this time, so switch the grip. Squeeze the shoulders together, lift the chin and the chest. Keep that bind, take your forward fold. Big body breath in. Hands to shins as your halfway lift. Inhale, plank pose, step back top of your push up. Take a full breath in, nice strong spine. Shift the crown of your head forward, slowly lower all the way to the belly, elbows hugging into the ribs. Baby cobra, point the toes, squeeze the shoulders. Nice long neck here and spine. Exhale, release to the mat. Bend your knees and tuck your toes. Press yourself back to downward facing dog. We'll start to build a little bit of heat. Come high to your toes, look to your hands, step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in, exhale, fold. Extended mountain pose, rise all the way up to stand. Finding that interlacing behind the back. Inhale, lift the chin and the chest. Exhale, forward fold, chest to thighs. Hands to shins as you're halfway lift. Vinyasa, you can lower to the belly. You can lower halfway into Chaturanga. 
upward facing dog or cobra. And downward facing dog, roll over the toes, lift the hips, exhale. Once more, come high to your toes, look forward. Step, hop, jump, travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift is the inhale. Forward fold, Uttanasana, exhale. Rise up to stand, extended mountain pose. Finding the interlace, flip the grip. Inhale, chest and chin lift. Exhale, forward fold, keeping the bind, drop the nose to the knees. Hands to shins is the halfway lift. You are vinyasa, make your way back to downward facing dog. Knowing that you can always add in a crow pose, handstand, whatever feels good for your practice, today on your mat. We'll start to build a little bit of a flow from here. Lift your right leg high, bend your knee and open up your hip. Keep that left heel melting and roll out that hip a little bit. Right, this is a big hip opening pose. So we wanna create as much space as possible in the body. Straighten the right leg out, square the hip down, toes to the floor. Step through your hands, low lunge. So we'll drop the left knee and untuck the back toes. Sweep the arms up, take a big body breath in. Cactus the elbows, press the hips forward, get really heavy in the hips. Squeeze your left glute and take another breath. Arms come up, spine straightens on the inhale. Half split, straighten the right leg. We're gonna come all the way to sit on the left heel for this half split and bow the nose to the right knee, flex the toes up. Half we lift the chest, right forearm comes inside of the right shin, almost like a knife blade, and then we'll twist the left arm up. Big body breath in, twist deeper breath out. Left arm will reach to the back behind you. Lift the hips, keep the right leg straight and reach the right arm back. Drop the hips down, fold back over your right leg. Halfway lift the chest. Runner's lunge, walk forward with the hands. Tuck the back left toe under and lift the left knee up. Take a big breath in, pull the chest and the chin up. Fly the right leg back behind you, inhale. Shift forward, take your vinyasa on the exhale. Upward facing, breathe in. And downward facing dog, breathe out. Lift your left leg up behind you, inhale. Bend your knee, open up your hip on the exhale. Take those hip circles, finding some space where you need it. Just getting the mobility in there. It's like oiling a machine. And then straighten the left hip out, square the toes down. Step through your hands as you look forward, low lunge. Drop the right knee, untuck the toes. Sweep the arms up on the inhale breath. Cactus the elbows, press the hips forward, lift the chest. We'll stay for a breath, squeeze the right glute. Arms up, gaze up, half splits, straighten the left leg, sit all the way down on the right heel and bow your nose down. Halfway to lift the chest, left forearm comes inside of the left calf like a knife blade, thumb is up. Twist your right arm up, finding leverage of arm pressing into leg, leg pressing into arm. Take another big breath, twist that right shoulder back and open. Right arm reaches for the back of the mat as you begin to lift the hips, keep the left leg straight, arch to back. Let the gaze follow the left hand. Lower the sit bones back down, fold over the left leg once more. Halfway lift the chest, walking forward to runner's lunge, bend the left knee, tuck the right toes under. And lift the right knee up, chest and chin pull through, take a breath. And then plant the hands, fly the left leg up and behind you. Shift forward, find your vinyasa, maybe chin stand, anything that feels good here. 
just make your way. You can always skip the chaturangas. All the options for you. All right. Lift the energy a little bit higher now. Take a breath in. And taking a breath out. Lift the right leg up behind you. Take an inhale. Good. Tap the right elbow. Open the hip. Exhale. Inhale. Lift it nice and high. Runners lunge. Step through. Chest and chin pull forward. Drop the left knee. Keep the back toe tucked under this time. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. Cactus the elbows. Lift your right heel to get a little bit deeper of a stretch. Arms up. Heel drops down. Extended pyramid. Back knee comes up, straighten both legs, and bow your nose to your right knee. Keep the right hip pulling in and back so it doesn't pop out. Keep your left hand planted. Twist the right arm up as you halfway lift the chest. Keep that right leg as straight as you can. Maybe a block under the left hand would be helpful. Take another big, big breath in. Runners lunge, re-bend the right knee, right hand plant. Skandasana, roll over that left shoulder, come into the left knee and flex the right toes up. Now this left heel, right, it's early in the practice, mine is lifted right now, maybe later it'll flatten, but find yourself where you are right now, no big deal. So from here, warrior two, come up through center. Peaceful warrior. So flip that top palm, reverse it back. Side angle, right forearm to your right thigh, and we'll reach the left arm up. So make sure the right toes are forward. We've got this deep 90 degree bend, and we want to work towards opening the hip. So rolling the left hip and the left shoulder back. We'll find that half bind again. So left hand is going to reach behind the back for the right hip crease. Maybe even find your thigh with the fingertips and concentrate on rolling that shoulder open. Good. Activate your right glute, breathe in, and breathe out. One more. Reach that right arm out by your ear, and then straighten the legs, straighten the arms, turn the toes towards the long side of the mat. Quick wide leg forward fold, bow over your legs through center. And then halfway lift the chest, Bend the knees, come into a nice wide squat here. We're going to find a couple pulses. You can kind of feel to your feet a little bit closer if you need to. So weight is in the heels, core is nice and strong. We're activating the glutes here because when we're balancing on one foot, they'll have to be nice and engaged. Start to think about shifting the weight into your left leg and pull the right knee into chest. And you have to touch and go like I just did. All good. Come back to wide squat, pulse three. Two, right knee into chest. Back to wide squat, pulse two. Right knee into chest. One squat, one lift up. Good. Figure four chair. Cross the right ankle over the left thigh. <laughs> and sink down nice and low. Keep the right toes flexed. Actively pressing the booty down and back. One more round of breath here. Then standing up tall with the right knee into your chest. Grab a hold of your right shin with your right hand and give it a nice pull. Open the right knee to the right side and then step the right foot behind the left. Grab the right wrist, Shakti pose, big side lean that we saw at the beginning of practice. Step your feet together, hip width facing the side of the mat. We'll take a forward fold. Plant your right hand in the center, twist the left arm up. Left leg stays straight, right knee bends. Big breath in. Half find left hand behind your back, reaching for that right hip crease breath out. One more inhale. One more exhale, twist. Left arm comes up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise all the way up, pulling your right knee into your chest. Big breath in. Coming back to the wide squat, breath out. 
straight arms, straight legs, right toes spin to face the front, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, take a big breath in. Vinyasa, cartwheel the hands down and find your way to downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. Ha. Lift your left leg nice and high, big breath in. Tap your left elbow, open the left hip, breath out. Inhale, lift it back up. Runner's lunge, step through the hands, chest and chin pull up. Drop your right knee, this time keep the toe tucked under. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Cactus the elbows, lift the left heel, lift the chest up. Arms up, heel goes down. Extended pyramid, right knee lifts, both legs straighten. Bow your nose to your left knee and pull that left tip in and back. Halfway lift the chest, keep the right hand planted, twist the left arm up. And remember, we're working towards keeping that left leg nice and straight. You should feel this on the outside edge of your leg. Holy cow. Take another big breath in, twist the left shoulder back. Runner's lunge, re-bend the left knee, left hand plant. Gandasana, roll all the way over your right shoulder until the right knee bends and the left leg is nice and straight. Try and flex the left toes so you're really activating the left hamstring. And we'll come on up to our straight arm, straight legs into warrior two. Bend the left knee, arms spread out. Reverse your warrior, flip the top palm, reach on back, big side body stretch. Side angle, left forearm to the left thigh. Reach the right arm up. Rotate the right shoulder, the right hip back, up to stack on top of the left, and then find your half bind. Right arm behind your back, reaching for the left hip crease. Breathe in. And stay, breathe out. One more round of breath. Reach the left arm out by your ear, extend the length of the body, straighten the legs, stand up tall, toes to the long side of the mat. Quick wide leg forward fold here, maybe heel toeing the feet a little bit closer as you're bowing down. Halfway lift the chest, bend the knees into your wide squat. So chest is up. Weight is in the heels. Find a couple pulses here and we're shifting the weight into the right foot this time. When you're ready, bring the left knee into chest, stand up tall. It helps me to lift the arms up to pull the energy up. Step back to your wide squat, pulse for three. Left knee to chest. Wide squat, pulse for two. Left knee to chest. Last time, one squat and lift knee to chest. Figure four chair, cross the left ankle over the right thigh, send the booty down and back. Get really active in the left toes. Breathe. Rise up with the left knee into the chest. Grab the left shin with the left hand and give it a big pull into the rib cage and then open the left hip to the left side shock deep pose step the left foot behind the right grab the left wrist with the right hand big side lean breathe in and breathe out step the feet hip with distance facing the side of your mat forward fold uttanasana left hand plants in the center of the feet right arm reaches up Right leg is straight, left knee is bent. Find your half bind behind your back. Right arm reaching for the left hip crease. Breathe in. Twisting the right shoulder back. Breathe out. Inhale the right arm up, big inhale. Forward fold, straighten both legs, exhale. As you rise up to stand, the left knee comes into chest. Step it out to your wide squat. Straighten arms, straighten legs. Left toes to the top, warrior two. 
Flip the top palm, peaceful warrior, inhale. Cartwheel the hands down. Find your vinyasa, making your way back to downward facing dog. Always play time available here on the mat. If you're working on something in your own practice, don't ever hesitate to add it in. It's the only way that we learn is to do the pose. Big, big breath in and big breath out. So we'll work through a similar, almost identical sequence. We're just kind of elevating the level a little bit here, but again, Stay where you need to stay. Be true to your body. Lift the right leg on an inhale breath. Tap the right elbow, maybe taking an arm balance here, keeping the hip nice and open. And fly that right leg high. Step through your hands this time for high crescent lunge. Right foot lands between the hands, sweep the arms up on the inhale. Squeeze the left glute, cactus the elbows, open the heart, exhale. Arms up, spine straightens, standing splits. Hands bow over the right leg, lift the left heel up to the sky. One more big breath in here. Kundalini squat is your breath out. Step the left foot all the way to the back, skandasana. Right leg straightens, left hand plants, twist the right arm up. One more big breath in. We'll come up, warrior two, breath out. Reverse your warrior, big inhale. Back to our side angle, this time working towards a full bind. So if you're working with a strap, drop the strap behind the back, left hand behind the back, right arm comes underneath and inside of the right thigh. Reach for your hands behind the back and then peel your left shoulder open here. Big breath in and big breath out. One more. Now, keeping whatever bind you have, you have the availability to straighten your right leg. Go ahead and try for that. Essentially, this is bird of paradise, just in a grounded form. Gently release your bind to triangle pose, keeping the right leg straight, plant the right hand, twist the left arm up. Reach the left arm over your ear, sweeping and turning the toes over to the left long edge of the mat, wide leg forward fold, heel toe your feet a little bit closer to the center. Bend the knees, lift the chest, coming back to your wide spot. All right, we'll pulse three, two, shift the weight to the left foot, right knee into the chest. One, do it again, pulse two in your wide squat. Right knee into the chest, taking your time. Last time, one squat, one lift up. Figure four chair, wobbly today. Figure four chair. <laughs> and right away, we're gonna grab that right big toe with our right piece fingers. You can also grab underneath and behind the right knee. But we're gonna work towards extending that right leg out in front of us. Press energy out through the right heel and lift up through the left hand. Try and pull the right shoulder back a little bit here. Now open the right leg to the right side. Maybe the left hand comes to the hip. Find a nice gazing point in front of you. Option to hinge forward at the waist. Lifting back up using the left glute. Release the toes. Shock D. Step the right foot behind. Big grab of the right wrist. Side lean. Feet hip width distance facing the side. Forward fold. Whew. Right hand plants, left arm twists up. The right knee has the bend. Okay, so we're gonna work a full bind here. Left hand reaches behind the back. The right arm will come in between your thighs, reaching behind you. 
Pop the right heel up, nuzzle your right shoulder into the right knee, and see if you can find your hands behind that right thigh. Once you're there, bow your nose down to the left knee, take a big stretch. Gently release the bind, reaching the left arm up, right hand plants, forward fold. Nice job. As we rise up, the right knee comes into the chest. Step it out to your wide squat. Straight arms, straight legs, warrior two, right toes to the top. Linking that first sequence back in, reverse your warrior, take a big breath in. Runners lunge, cartwheel the hands down, frame the right foot. Drop the left knee, untuck the toes, sweep the arms up. Lift the right heel, cactus the elbow, squeeze the left glute. Arms up, right heel goes down, half splits, sitting on the left heel, bow the knees to the knee. Halfway lift the chest, right forearm plants inside of the right calf, twist the left arm up. Left hand reaches to the back of the mat, lift the hips, straighten the right leg, gaze follows the right arm. Squeeze the left glute here for activation and stability. And then drop the hips down, right leg stays straight, bow forward once more. Halfway lift the chest, runner's lunge. Plant the hands, fly the right leg high, bend the knee, open up the hip. Wild thing, roll to the outside edge of left foot. Let's get the hips nice and open here. Press the hips up, lift the gaze. On your exhale, flip it over. Your vinyasa will meet in downward facing dog. Really nice job. Full body breath in. Exhale, open the mouth. Ha! I like to make noise in my practice if you don't know me personally. Yep, that's what I do. <laughs> Lift your left leg up behind you, take a big breath in. My right option for that arm balance here. Tap left elbow to the left tricep, open the hip, arm balance or hold. And then fly the left leg up behind you, three-legged dog. High crescent lunge, step between the hands. Arms sweep up, inhale. Cactus the elbows, open the chest, squeeze the right glute, exhale. Arms up, breathe in. Standing splits, dive the chest forward over the left knee, right leg lifts. Allow yourself to create space through the back leg, left leg, by pulling your nose towards the knee. Take one more breath. Kundalini squat, right knee behind the left chest, kind of halfway lifts you. Right foot steps all the way to the back of the mat, skandasana, roll over the feet. Right hand stays planted, left arm twists up, big breath. Inhale, warrior two, pop on up, exhale. Peaceful warrior, big breath in, side angle working towards our full bind. Now, this is the side I mentioned for me, I have a hard time with, right? Our left sides are different from our right. So reach the right arm behind your back, right? Left shoulder comes inside of the left knee. Get it nice and down there, and then reach the left arm back and find your right hand. Once you find it, work on twisting that right shoulder up and open. Breathe. Keeping that bind if it's available straight in the left leg. Release the bind triangle pose. Left hand down, right arm comes up. Take a full inhale, lengthen up. Right arm reaches over the ear, turn the toes to the right edge of the mat, wide leg forward fold. Heel toeing your feet underneath the hips a little bit closer. Here we go. Bend the knees, wide squat. We'll pulse for three. Shifting the weight into the right foot, two. Left knee to chest, rise up. 
Step it to your wide squat, pulse for two. Left knee to chest, rise up. And one squat, one lift. Left knee to chest. Figure four chair, cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Get nice and deep here. Left piece fingers, left big toe, or grab underneath the knee. And stand up straight with the left foot in front of you. Extending out as much as you can. Again, dropping the knee for perfectionism. We want to concentrate on the effort we're giving here. So it doesn't have to be 100% straight. Open the left hip to the left side. Maybe the right hand comes to your hip. Soften the standing knee, maybe take a bow. Rising back up, release the left toes, Shakti, step the left foot behind the right, big side bend. Good, hip width distance, feet, ooh, forward fold to the side of your mat. Left arm plants, right arm reaches up, deep bend in the left knee here. Right hand comes behind the back. Again, notice it's different from the other side. So give yourself some grace if this is your harder side like it is for me. Lift your left heel up. Reach the left arm underneath and behind that left thigh. I am barely reaching here. Bow your nose. Release the bind. Forward fold. Ooh. Rise all the way up to stand. Pull your left knee into your chest. Wide squat. Straight arm, straight legs. Lift it up. Ooh, left toes go forward. Warrior two. I got a little excited there. Reverse your warrior on the inhale. Going back to our first C cleanse. Cartwheel the hands down. Bring your left foot. Drop your right knee. Untuck the toe. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. Cactus the elbows, maybe lift the left heel up, flex the right glute. Arms up, spine straighten, inhale. Half split, sitting on the right heel, exhale, bow the nose. Halfway lift, left forearm inside of the left calf, thumb up, twist the right arm up. Right arm reaches for the back of the mat. Lift the hips, keep the left leg straight, let the gaze follow the left thumb. And then dropping the hips back down, keep the left leg straight, bow. Runner's lunge, come forward, left knee bends, right knee lifts up. Lift the left leg up behind you, open up the hip. Wild thing, kickstand the left foot behind you. Open up the hips, open up the chest. Flip it over, find your way back to downward facing dog. <sighs> Let yourself find a little bit of stillness, a little bit of release. Hmm. Soften and begin to take notice on all of the layers that are being let go as we move and we challenge ourselves on the mat. You feel like you've dropped the weight of the armor. Okay, pulling all of these elements together, we've got our options for a bird of paradise in this round. So take a big, big breath in, and a big sigh out. Good. Same similar sequence, lift that right leg high, take a big breath in, step it through, high crescent lunge. Arms sweep up, inhale, cactus the elbows, open the heart on the exhale. Arms up, standing splits, bow nose to your right knee, take one big breath in. Kundalini squat, left knee behind the right. Keep your right hand planted, half moon. Open the left hip on top of the right. Flex those left toes, gaze up if you're stable. And one more big breath. Soften your standing knee. We're gonna land all the way in Skandasana. Left foot steps back. Bend the left knee, get nice and low. Warrior two, come on up. Peaceful warrior, reverse it back. Side angle and work towards that full bind. Right arm underneath and behind, left arm behind the back. 
Okay. So what you can do if you're not working with a full bind is left hand behind your back and then grab your right big toe with your right peace fingers and you'll move along with my cues as well, right? So we'll just take a different variation since we already worked our big toe hold. So look in front of your right big toes, step the left foot up to meet the right. Maybe it takes two steps, face the front of your mat. You'll notice your right heel pops up. That's what we want. Find your gazing point, soften your left knee and begin to root through the left heel and rise up with your right leg with you. Keep the knee bent, the right leg, until you're stable, and then work towards extending the right leg straight. We'll exit the way we entered by bending the right knee, hinge forward at the waist, right foot plants back down, step the left foot back to your side angle. Very good job. Release your bind, Straighten the right leg to your triangle pose. Sweep the left arm over your ear to your wide leg forward fold. Heel toe your feet a little bit closer under the hips. One more time on the side, nice wide squat. Find two pulses and just pull the right knee up into the chest. Love how I, this side is not working for me today. Can't mind my stability. All right, one more time to your figure four. And we'll grab that right big toe. Big breath in, rise up a little bit quicker this time. Open the hip. Maybe hinge forward. Lifting up. Shakti pose, right? Going a little bit quicker. Feet under the hips, forward fold facing the side of the mat. Okay, here's your second entry to Bird of Paradise. Right hand plants, left arm comes up. Right knee is bent. Left arm behind the back. So you'll notice this is the same pose we found ourselves in as we stepped our left foot to the top and side angle. So right arm reaches underneath and behind that right thigh. Soften your left knee. Begin to root down through the left heel and lift the chest up. Keeping the drishti, the gaze down until you're stable. And maybe extending that right leg up. Lowering down the way we came in. Release the bind. Hands come down forward, pull me, shake it out like a rag doll. Whew. As we stand all the way up, right knee comes into the chest. Wide squat. Straight arms, straight legs. Right toes forward, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. And make your way back to downward facing dog. Find your vinyasa, skip it, handstand it, whatever feels good. And we'll take that flow on the left side and then we'll bring the energy way down. But let's stay with this heat. Lift your left leg high, take a big breath in, step it through your hands, high crescent lunge. Arms sweep up, squeeze the right glute, cactus the elbows. Arms up, spine straightens. Standing splits, bow over the left leg. Take a big breath in, kundalini squat, right knee behind the left, half moon, left hand stays down, right side body lifts, opens. Take a big breath, find the space, soften the left standing knee to land softly in your skandasana back of the mat. Warrior two, press on up. Reverse your warrior, big breath in. Side angle, working towards our full bind here. Right arm comes behind the back. Left arm reaches underneath and behind, reaching for those right fingertips. Good, you can grab left big toe with your left peace fingers as well. We'll step the right foot up to meet the left, so look for it. Step the right foot up a couple times. Turn to face the front of the mat. Left heel is lifted. Find a soft bend in your right knee, root through the right heel, and begin to lift. Once you're stable, extending through the left leg, and lowering down the way we entered. Step the right foot back, Doop. open the arms. Very nice job, straighten the left leg, triangle. Sweep the right arm over the ear, 
toes to the right side, wide leg forward fold. Whew. Shake out your shoulders if you need and begin to kind of heel to your feet a little bit closer. Last round, bend the knees, wide squat. Pulse two times, shift the weight into the right and bring the left knee up into the chest. Figure four chair, moving a little bit quicker through this, grab your left big toe, rise up to stand left leg in front, pulling the left leg open to the left side, open the hip. Maybe take a bow forward, hinging. And lifting back up. Whoop. Shakti, step the left foot behind. Big side stretch. And feet hip with distance. Forward fold, facing the side of the mat. Left hand plant. Right arm reaches up. Left knee is bent here. Right hand reaches behind the back for the half bind. Left arm reaches in between the thighs and underneath the left thigh. For some reason it's harder for me to bind this way. Find the fingertips, find your gaze, right knee bends so you have buoyancy, and then begin to root through that right heel, rise all the way up. Find your stability and extend the left leg straight. Exiting the way we entered, Doop. Release the bind, arms down, shake it out. Ooh. Rise all the way up to stand. Left knee comes into the chest. Step to your wide squat. Straight arms, straight legs. Left toes go forward, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Heart really hands down, coming to slow this down. Runner's lunge. Good. This time you'll drop your right knee. Sweep your arms up. Big breath in. Keeping the hips up this time. Half splits. And we've been working the hamstrings a lot. So if you'd like to slide forward into full splits, right, that is available. Keep the weight centered and the hips square here. Your body might feel ready. Molly's making an appearance in the video. My big girl. I'm licking my toes. Perfect. Thank you, babe. You can go lay down. One more big breath here. And making your way back to that half split. If you found yourself in full splits, we'll make our way into our half pigeon on the left side. So heel to this left foot over to the right edge of your mat. Bend the left knee, square the hips, center the weight. And let's go ahead and fold forward and down. If it's available, coming down to the forearms and maybe all the way down. <sighs> and one of the biggest challenges for me as a teacher is dropping that need to look perfect in my practice. And I think sometimes because I have this certification and that I teach it, I should be able to do everything perfectly. And that's just not realistic. My body is made a certain way and I can practice and practice and practice. That's it. I hit blocks and challenges mentally and physically, just like anyone else. And so it's a practice for me to be vulnerable here on my mat in front of all of you to show my places in my body that aren't strong, like binding on my left side. And it's a struggle. So I'm right here with you for this journey. And just like you, I'm working on dropping the need to look and feel perfect, embracing the messiness and disarmoring myself to be seen by myself and by you. Slowly begin to lift the chest up, walking the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the back toe under and make your way back to downward facing dog. Taking any kind of wiggles you need there. 
stepping the right foot through the hands for our low lunge. Sweeping the arms up and finding the half split. Straighten the right leg, keep the hips up this time. And maybe sliding into full splits if it's in your practice. If it's not in your practice, well, maybe today's the day where you challenge yourself to just try. Right? Because we can do all these skills and drills and stretches to get to the pose, but we got to do the pose to learn the pose. Come up to your breath. Maybe close your eyes, invite yourself to slow down. Notice the sensations. And you're in full splits. Tuck that back toe and begin to make your way into half splits. Heel toe the right foot over to the left edge of the mat. Bend the right knee into your half pigeon. Square the hips, center the weight. And begin to walk forward and now. And there's no need to go zero to 100, like ease your way in with your breath. Your hips should feel kind of open though by now. And then invite yourself to shift your gaze inside. And so kind of being aware of the sensations inside as opposed to what's been happening around us. The challenges of the practice. Notice how they've settled inside of you. One more big breath. And slowly begin to lift your chest, walking your hands under your shoulders. And we'll swing both legs around to the top of the mat. Out in front of you long. Remove the extra love from underneath the sit bones, as I like to say. Reach the arms up, find some length on the inhale and fold forward and down on the exhale. Starting to lengthen out the inhales and exhales, really slowing down and calming your nervous system. You had a lot of energy, a lot of moving parts. And slowly begin to lift the chest, making your way all the way onto your back, scoop the booty forward, and hug the knees in, give them a nice squeeze. Let both knees fall over to the right, arms out to the T, gaze to the left. And letting the spine unravel and loosen. Knees coming through center, dropping them over to the left as you gaze to the right. And bring the knees back through center. And hug your nose up to meet your knees. 
And take a full body breath in through the nose, fill up. And open the mouth. Shavasana. Let your legs open wide, your arms open wide. Take up plenty of space here. Close your eyes and sink into the practice of stillness and of taking notice of yourself. Allowing yourself to fully be seen with all of the layers shed. Stay as long as you like in Shavasana. Then wiggle your fingers and your toes. And reach your arms up overhead for a big full body stretch. And gently roll to one side. Having a moment of gratitude for making your way on your mat and Spending time with yourself, perfectly imperfect, and embracing all those beautiful imperfections that make it your practice and your journey alone. Pressing up to a nice, comfortable seat, tall through the spine, eyes can remain closed. And taking notice one more time of how the practice has settled into your heart, your mind, your spirit. I hope you feel good and fulfilled and challenged. This practice gives us so much if we allow it to. Place a hand over your heart, a hand over your belly. And take a last full body breath in to fill up. And let it go. Comes to your third eye center. And the light and the love in me sees and honors the same light and love shared in each of you. Namaste. Namaste, little Mani. Thanks for joining us for practice. I'll see you all next time.